For some of you, this may be a frustration to collect data from a source using a filter query and then dump that data into a completely different list. So we're gonna go over the whole thing today. We're gonna to troubleshoot it, look at the actual um, uh, lists, and then actually look at the JSON code beautifier as well to kind of find our way. So stay tuned. This will be very informative for those of you that are really struggling with setting up filter queries inside of SharePoint lists so that you can do something with that data. So stay tuned, we're gonna jump right to it. So let's start here. This is a very simple example here. I have two tables exactly the same as you can see right here. And one is called source and one is called target. And that's pretty much as simple as it is. It doesn't get much easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move a record, Joe, right here, 7-9-2022, remember that date. We're gonna move his record from the source and we're gonna make a copy of it and drop it into the target. So here's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna set up this recurrence to whatever frequency, recurrence, excuse me, to whatever frequency that you choose. And then we're gonna first of all get the items from the source. So notice here, I'm calling out the source itself and I'm putting in a filter. Now notice here that the filter is this instead of the name of the field and the name of the field happens to be RMA0 if you look over here, right here. But when calling it out inside of your um, get filter query for get items, the OData filter, you're, it sometimes comes up with it doesn't exist. I'm gonna show you how to troubleshoot through that. The EQ means equal. Make sure you have these single quote marks around UTC now. And UTC now is right here. So it's just a simple UTC now command. Let me open that up here for you right here. So very simple to do. Pause the video as you need to. And then I'm doing an AND statement. So what I'm saying here is that RMA0 is going to be equal to today's date. And the title has to, be, it has to have the word Joe in it. Now, that's a specific title. I could do a substring and just put J, for example, but we're gonna just use this very simple. And I put it in parentheses just to kind of keep it tight so that I know what I'm doing, I don't lose my mind. Okay, so if we look at the source here, here we have Joe, but we also have Mary with the same date. So let's just go ahead and run this. Oh, so that's the poll, right? That's what we're gonna get. Then once we get it, we're gonna go through and we're gonna make sure that everything gets written to these areas here. So notice here that the list is target now, and we're gonna loop through and get every single one that, that meets this criteria, and we're gonna dump it into here, okay? So let's go ahead and let this thing rip. We're just gonna hit test and run the test real quick here. It should take literally just a second. There you go. Now let's start looking at some of the troubleshooting and seeing making sure that everything worked right. So first of all, we want to check at the source here. If we just click here, click to download, and I'm just going to do a control A, control C to copy that data over. And then I'm going to do a control A, control V. And now notice here that it kind of breaks it up so it's a little easier to read. Now really what I'm looking for is value equal to one, um, because right here we have Joe and that was the only thing that met our criteria, right? Joe and Mary. I could also look at the target list, okay? And then I just have to refresh it. And of course, it better ride over there. It'll come over in just a second. Um, so, so that's all good. Everything's there. And then um, where did we find out that data? So notice here, right here. So this is the date. So if you wonder what the date is, you're gonna to have to put in a unique date string here and then say, oh, okay, RMA zero. Oh, that's the only date I have. I know that it is this date. And I'm gonna go back here. And that is the identifier. And so when I go in here and hit edit, there it is right there. So I, I basically, just to make sure I don't dork it up, I'll a lot of times just hit copy and then move it over into here to make sure that it's exactly the way that it's supposed to be. Now, as we return back over, there's the file right there from Joe. Um, it came over, no problems at all. And then that's kind of as simple as it is, uh, how you troubleshoot everything. 
So let me just go through here. I know this is very simple, but for those of you that are struggling with this, this is going to be a lifesaver, hopefully. So here we have our source. We're pulling from one list. We're pushing to another list. We set up a filter right here with an and clause. UTC now is right there, but you can pause the video. I have everything kind of written up here in the instructions for you to see. Oops, let me go down one little bit more. So here's the source. Here's the uh, create in the target. The value, of course, if you notice there, is from this get items run that we've done here because that filter applies. And then to check your work, you want to do its code beautifier. Let me go down a little bit right there. There you go. Code beauty, beautify.org, code beautify.org. It's very, it's free to use and it's a great way to kind of sort out what is actually going on with the flows that you're writing.